Scientists in Iceland say they're surprised by how quickly volcanic activity has subsided. Thousands of residents in the town of Grindavik were evacuated several weeks ago ahead of an imminent eruption. Now, some locals say they'll never return to the town. From a two-mile curtain of fire to a few spluttering cones of lava, the power of this eruption has rapidly ebbed away. But what hazard remains? The only way to safely get people close to the site is by helicopter. It's 8 a.m., still fully dark this far north, and the Icelandic Coast Guard is making their first survey flight over the lava field since the start of the eruption. And from above, we're staring into what looks like the embers of a dying fire. So you can just make out the heat of that lava. 1,200 degrees centigrade, hot enough to melt iron. Creeping out from underneath the rapidly thrusting over lava field here. We come in for a precarious landing to give our scientists a more stable view of the lava, not that it changes what was obvious from the air. It's a huge surprise that the uh, lava activity has stopped. So we, are, we don't see any activity in the craters that were active yesterday. And what is that telling us? I mean, it started with such energy on Monday, and what, three days later, very different story? No, exactly. Uh, it's a huge surprise for me. I was expecting the eruption to continue for much longer. A new eruption doesn't look imminent. GPS data shows the ground lifted up by the pressure of magma has subsided as lava flooded out, and it's not refilling just yet. It's allowed the evacuated people of Grindavik, the adjacent town, to check on their homes ahead of Christmas. But it's little comfort. We can't uh, control the nature, but the government should give us some answers. That's not, that's not good to leave people hanging for almost seven weeks. This couple are collecting the last of their belongings. I think it will come back. I think so. Maybe near to us here. I think so. That's my feeling. And how does that leave you feeling about staying here for the future? No, um, I think I'm leaving. I will not come back. This volcano may go silent for centuries once again, but these latest earthquakes, then rivers of fire, have made the future here simply too uncertain for some. Tom Clark, Sky News, Iceland.